loves welcome back to my channel today we will be doing a food vlog of this highly requested video on Bo's shrimp boil I guess that's that's what you would call it like boiling his crab. his version of the boiling crab yeah basically <laughs> I mean I don't play much of a big role here besides just cutting getting everything ready cutting the shrimp whiskers off okay but today what we will be using <clears throat> and excuse my voice because I'm still super sick we will be using um, frozen yeah basically it's already cooked so basically we just throw it in like Boiling a water. bowl of water first to kind of thaw it out and then we throw it in the pot of boiling water but we basically use this we add clams and then we do add whole shrimp. whole shrimp with the head and this is basically what I cut off are the whiskers and then we add, I don't know if you guys can see this, but corn on the cob but cut in halves and then you can also get creative with this and add like crab and crawfish, sausages, like potatoes. whatever, yeah potatoes, whatever you guys like but we basically keep it basic and just add shrimp, clams and corn. Okay, so right now I will be cutting off the whiskers on the shrimp. Um, I guess I'll show you guys how I do that. And we will move forward with that. And then Bo will be showing you guys what seasoning he uses and how he like makes his whole concoction. Is that what you Concoction. <laughs> concoction. Okay, basically what I'm doing is I'm just rinsing the shrimp and water and then cutting off the whiskers and then placing them into a bowl and then I basically do that to all the shrimp. Mm. For this recipe it's basically two pounds of shrimp and like two pounds of clams. Okay. For the sauce and stuff. Okay. This is what your shrimp looks like when you cut off the whiskers. <clears throat> Say hi. I'm gonna get eaten. <laughs> it's hot. hot. Say cheese. Okay. So what we're gonna do is cut this open. Also too. <coughs> Your clams, you could probably get your clams at a uh, local Asian market, I would say. You want some puppy? Yeah, you're gonna See? eat that right now. Cut this open. These are fresh, never frozen. <laughs> get it? Because they are frozen. <laughs> but they're frozen fresh. <laughs> So what we do, you have to rinse them because they're bottom feeders and all that nasty dirt. You don't want to eat dirt. I don't know about you, but I don't like dirt. So give them a good rinse. And then let them sit for a little while. Like 20 minutes just to get the rest of the nasty stuff out. Done? All done? Okay, and then in a separate pot, Bo throws in water about half full. And then um, once it starts boiling, he does add the corn yeah. until it's completely cooked. And then once it's cooked, he will remove the corn, right, babe? Yeah. He will remove the corn and then add the clams in to cook. So we'll be right back with that. Okay, so in a separate pot, while your corn is cooking, I'm going to get the sauce started. So for the sauce, we use country crock butter. I mean, we've used other butters, but... It separates. Yeah, the it's not... This is the best butter you can get for this. And I like to eat... Promise you. I like to eat the sauce, because I like to eat it with my rice, and then like, my shrimp and clams. So drink the sauce with... Well, is it drink? I'll eat the sauce with my rice, and then you start to notice the butter separate because yeah, of all the... Yeah, it gets all nasty. What is it, because all the fat? I don't know what it is, but it makes it... It's, 
Yeah. You got to get this one. Country Croc it is. Yeah. Promise. So, before I do this, just let me say, y'all are lucky because I wasn't going to tell nobody my secrets at all. Okay. So, I eyeball this. This is probably... <laughs> I would say roughly like two cups. A good two cups of butter. <coughs> you never go wrong with butter. So I put about two cups. Let it melt a little bit. And then while this is melting, what we do, garlic. See how it's cut up? Throw like a whole head. A whole head of garlic. So let this get in there, let it melt, let it marinate. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, let me show you guys. This is greatness and happiness right here. Ooh. Like I said, I wasn't gonna give this fucking recipe to nobody. We were gonna open a restaurant with this shit. Alrighty, so now, once the butter is simmering like this, see what I mean? Mm-hmm, that life, that bomb. I'm gonna add the seasonings. Where's my fucking... Normally I eyeball all this, but for you guys, I'll fucking do this. So, basically a tablespoon of every seasoning that I'm gonna give you right now. So let's start with paprika. Let me see. Had to go buy a new one for this. Remember, this is for like two pounds of shrimp. And I'd say two pounds of clams. But remember, you can do it with crab, crawfish, everything. So let's do a tablespoon of paprika. You know what I mean? Paprika. <laughs> so there's one of that. So next, lemon pepper. Do a tablespoon of this. Ooh. A little extra. So you make sure you make it spicy. Mmm. And then, I do like half a tablespoon of Cajun seasoning. This shit is overpowering, so a lot, a little goes a long way. So I put like half, so like half a tablespoon. And then, Old Bay seasoning. This one, do like two and a half tablespoons. So one. What? Two. About two and a half. So here's the spicy part. Because we like our food spicy. So normally, if you want it like kind of spicy, do one tablespoon. But the more tablespoons you put, the spicier it's going to be. So for me, I put like three, three and a half to four. So there's one, two, three. How many more? You know what I mean? Like three and a half, four. I'm gonna get this, mix it all up. Mm hmm. Get in here, blend it all together. Babe, it's steamy Ooh. as fuck. You steamed up the lens. Why uh, would you do that? Fuck, babe. Well, then you're gonna have to cut it out. Like, did you not think? No, I didn't. What the fuck? <laughs> My bad, I steamed up the lens. Look at, there it goes again. again. So anyways, so after all the seasons are together, put it on low, and just let it, let it sit here and simmer. And while this is simmering, what we're gonna do is throw the clams into the water, to the boiling water. The same water you cook the corn in. Mm-hmm. So I'd say we cook the clams. I'd say like three minutes. 
because they've already been cooked, they were just frozen, so what I'm doing is just recooking them. Fresh, fresh clams, I would say like five to seven minutes, just until they open up, basically. So we'll just cook these. So straight from the water, just go straight into the sauce. Just like this. Get all the clams out of here. Uh -huh. Just throw it right in the sauce. Also, too, at the same time, you can probably throw your corn. Normally, we have more corn, but I'm not craving corn today, so two will do the job. Throw this up in here. Remember, this is on simmer, too. Just leave it on the, as low heat as you can, just to, just to keep it warm. Okay, so after you put the clams into your sauce, we'll go ahead and boil the shrimp. Ooh, it's going to be hot. Ooh, ooh, Babe, it's ooh. fucking splashing me. Ooh. ooh. Throw the shrimp into the water. These actually cook fairly fast. So just go ahead. Hi. Cheese. De la cheese. So you just boil these until they turn pink. I'm pretty sure half of you guys. Orange, babe. Orange? Oh, duh, huh? <laughs> I don't know where I got pink from. You guys, he's colorblind. So anyways. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure half of you guys should know how to cook some shrimp. So once they turn orange, they'll be done. So they've been boiling, I would say, like five minutes. So once they all turn orange, just go ahead and throw it into the pizzat. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, and also too, from the pot, I would probably put, from the juice, I would put like, I'd say, uh, like three quarters of a cup of the, the water in here, just to create more juice. Okay, and then now all you gotta do is just mix it all together. I mean, I know probably you guys don't have a big ass pot like this. I mean, a good sized pot will work. So just gotta mix it all together. Mm-hmm. Look at all that, that joy, the sauce. This Chef Boardee in the motherfucking house. Mm. So that's basically, um, that's basically it, I would say. Bo's motherfucking world famous shrimp boil. Know what I mean? Mmm. Look at that. Ah. Look at all that juice. Mm. You guys, this is fucking fire. Look at that shit. Remember, y'all take this recipe to the grave. Don't show nobody nothing. <laughs> fire AF. Okay, um, so that's basically Bo's shrimp oil recipe. That I'm, bomb bomb. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, if you do try this at home, um, make sure to tag me in your photo. That way we can show you guys some love back. And I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. You give it a thumbs up. Give it Remember a thumbs up. Remember my hitchhiker up. thumb. Thumbs up. Like, Don't forget to like. And subscribe. And share. And comment. <laughs> Okay, and we will see you guys in my next video. Bye!